It's here. It's it's here. It's finally here. Oh my gosh. I actually can't contain my excitement. This is no bit. This is serious, okay? L-L-Y-T demo. What do you think that stands for? Lumion Legacy YouTuber Demo. It's here. Huge shout out to T-Brad and Lando for letting me demo this version. Apparently a 15 minute demo version of Lumion Legacy and apparently the release date of the game is in there and NPC tells you. So we're gonna find out the release date today. You guys probably already know, but uh, it's about to happen right now. And if you don't even know what I'm talking about, quick backtrack. There was an amazing game on Roblox called Pokemon Brick Bronze. Nintendo said, Beep! and flicked it off the world. It was gone forever, everyone was tragically sad, and now comes Lumion Legacy, an original fan version of Pokemon. Basically their own unique version with elements of Nintendo taken out, all right? This game is gonna be fully original, and it's gonna be sick. I'm so excited, let's just hop in. Oh my gosh, I'm literally so nervous, bro. <laughs> I just hit play, I've been waiting for this forever. If you guys haven't been with me since the Brick Bronze days, that used to be my main game. Oh my gosh, it's finally happening. Look at this, look at this. Wait, we need volume, we need volume. Oh my gosh, Llama Train Studios, that's so sick. That's their new dev team. Bro, this is, whoa, look at the menu. Menu is sick. There's the update log. Look at those builds. Veils of shadow, bro, what the heck? So we got continue, we got adventures. I don't know what that is. RTD from the main menu, and then we got credits. These are the credits. Huge shout out to all of these people working on it. They got original music as well, so we can use the music. Oh my gosh, there's the lab. All right, let's just get right into it. New game. So this is only a 15 minute demo version apparently. So let's see who we're gonna get. So you can see the player list, custom player list. This music brings me back, all right? This music be bringing me back to the Brick Bronze days, man. So nice, nice shots. Oh my gosh, I forgot, bro. They used Arthro, so they're looking like real people now. They look like, this looks like a real Pokemon game. Oh, snap. It's the shadows. Oh my gosh. I can't believe I'm actually playing this game. We've been waiting for this for so long. What's that? Bro, these effects, this is a Roblox game. I feel like I'm playing a Nintendo game. Fascinating. I wonder who these guys are. Oh my gosh. It's just in. A storm has appeared out of nowhere in Southeast Roria. Meteorologists are stumped by this anomaly in the weather that appeared so suddenly. As we continue to investigate, we will keep you informed. As always, turn into Roria News. This looks so good. On, on six to stay up to date on everything happening. I'm your newscaster, Betsy News Person. All right, so here I am. I have a freaking, is that an Apple Watch? I'm not sure what that is. I'm pretty sure I'm wearing a freaking Apple Watch, bro. All right, so it starts off like this, like every ordinary Pokemon game. Hey, honey, could you please come downstairs? So I gotta go downstairs. Got some business going on. I got a two-story, bro. And look at the freaking Arthro. Oh, there you are. Your father called a moment ago. So this is my mother in the game. He was at the dig site when the storm came. He said something very interesting has happened to the stone tablet he's been studying. So that was my father. He insists on showing you. Oh, I see. You tried on your new Lumi watch. So that's their technology. To, to set it up, you have to press this button. Whoa, bro, look at this. A Lumi watch. Welcome. Please enter your name, bro. <laughs> this is a Roblox game. Like, this is so next level. Bro, this is so sick. Oh my gosh. So this is my Roria ID, Russo. So you have Lumi coin, that's the money, and medals. Those are the badges. It just gave us a, a, a sneak peek. There's gonna be eight medals, which is like badges. I'll teach you more about your new Lumi watch later. For now, I need to get going. So let me know in the comments if you guys notice anything that I don't notice about this game. Any secrets, anything that hints of like what's to come. Definitely let me know, because I'm kind of freaking out right now and I need to I need to focus, all right? I need to go check on the Lumians that we've been caring for at that lab. They aren't trained yet and they startle easily. Don't forget, your father wanted you to go see him at the dig site. Be careful in the weather out there. So it's storming and look at that. My freaking Lumi watch icons just appeared. This is the UI. It's first of all, so small, which is a good thing. It's just nice and compact up here. You can see the map, which shows me nothing. I don't think the map is there yet, mainly because they probably don't want to show off the entire, whoa, look at the, dude, the animations are so good. This is the item animation. So this is my backpack right here. This is my ID. And look, see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight medals. So those are the badges. 
Lumi Boost, which is gonna be like row powers. Gleamer, gleaming encounters. So that's gonna be shinies, gleaming Pokemon. Bro, what the heck? This is so sick. And then we got options right here, reduced graphics, stuck, and then follow privacy. All right, let's head out. This is it, baby. This is the moment we've been waiting for. Lumion Legacy. It, something about it already feels better than Brick Bronze. Like it feels like a real, real game. Even though Brick Bronze was fantastic. Um, should we go here? What's in here? Might as well just explore. I mean, we're playing the demo, so might as well explore everything possible. I love that they used Arthur, to be honest. It's like, my kids sure do love watching those battle shows. I worry that they spend too much time watching them though. They're gonna wanna fight each other. <laughs> this guy's so tiny. These battle theater shows are amazing. Naya is so cool and her Gekla is really tough. I hope I'll be able to go and watch her battle one day. So I bet you that person that he just talked about, I think he said Neko or something. I can't remember what he said, but I bet you they're a gym leader. Who's this? Hello, kid. Come on, Gekla, you can win. Gekla is my favorite Lumion ever. Today I wanna have a whole team of Gekla. Bro, you can do it. I believe in you, all right, Lumion master. We're gonna become a Lumion master today. That's why I have my hat backwards. All right, let's go down. We gotta meet our father at the dig site because we're just, Kind of wasting time here. I just wanna like absorb everything because this is only a demo. And remember, there's an NPC that says the release date. So it could be anybody. I don't know who's gonna say it, but we're gonna find out when this game actually comes out. Just with the household chores, I like to relax, relax and watch TV with my girls. Watching the Battle Theater show together, they all just watch Battle Theater, bro, chill. Yes, another victory for Battlestar Naya. Yeah, Naya, she's probably, wait, Battlestar? Closest Battle Theater is in Sylvan City. So my sister and I like to watch the battles happen there. Maybe someday I'll get to fight too. So maybe a Battle Theater is like what they call the gyms? Not really sure what that is, but it sounds freaking epic. Um, okay, so we got the lab down there. I don't wanna go there yet. I think I wanna go down to the dig site. Oh yeah, look, there's a bunch of people right there. What the heck, he has a Pokemon out, or sorry, a Lumion. They're called Lumions. I'm, I'm gonna have to get used to that. It's, it's gonna be hard to not call them Pokemon, you know, obviously, but who is telling me the release date? Of course, he studies his books every day. I'm sure he'll make a great trainer. Are you sure he's ready for a Lumion? I bet you there's a kid up here. Is he gonna tell me? Is he gonna tell me the release date? When does this game release fully? Cause I'm dying. Dripple is actually the best Lumion. It says so right here in the Dripple fan book. Well, it's cause it's a Dripple fan book, buddy. All right. I have to admit though, I really do like Dripple. Let me know who you guys are gonna choose as a starter Lumion in the comment section below. I'm so excited to choose my starter. I don't even know. All right, I think I have one more house to go in. And the reason I'm like going in everything is cause I, like I said, it's a demo. I just wanna make sure I cover everything possible. All right, this is the last house I'm going in. What's this person say? Very rarely a Lumion is found with an abnormal coloration. They also have a strange glowing aura. It is for this reason that these phenomena are referred to as gleaming Lumions. They fascinate me so much, I've spent a lot of time searching for them. I've never seen one in the wild, but I met two trainers who have one. Neither of them let me get too close, unfortunately. Oh, and get this, some researchers even theorize that there are multiple ver Alpha Gleam and Gamma Gleam. That's sick. So that means there's gleaming Pokemon, which is kind of like shinies, but there's not only one variation, there's multiple. There's apparently two different variations. Gastro Gastroic is loving the rain. There's a freaking Lumion right here. So we can't go past him yet. Um, I'm guessing we have to go over to the lab. Oh, I can run. I just realized I can run. Stupid and I did not know. All right, so let's just go over here and uh, I guess we gotta go to the laboratory. I'm not really sure what our next step is here. Lumion Laboratory, bro. This is it. We got a satellite over here. We got a little thing. And then this is the lab. I guess I'm supposed to get a Lumion right now or aren't I supposed to meet my father at the dig site? Uh, he's probably, he's like waiting in the rain. Like, come on, bro, where are you at, Sonny? This is the lab. Oh my gosh. Bro, look, they're all just chilling. The freaking Lumians are out and you can see them in the actual overworld. I'm checking on these young Lumians to ensure they aren't frightened by this storm. Anyway, your dad was looking for you by the dig site. You should find him and see what he wanted. So where's, how do I get to the dig site? I don't know, but look at these freaking Lumians. They're so cute. All right, we're gonna choose one in a second. I have to go to the dig site. Father needs me. I don't know where the dig site is because it's, it's kind of dark, but We'll find it. Um, is it up here? No, this is a tree. Where's the dig site, bro? It's so dark. It's hard to see. Am I just stupid? I probably am. All right, I'll cut to when I find the dig site. Oh, I found it. Midas dig site. I thought this was water. That's why I couldn't walk in here, but it's so dark. All right, so we got ourselves. Ooh, we got a little, little dig site going on here. Okay, here's the scary, the scary thing. There's father. Oh, there you are, Russo. I see you got my message from your mother. You'll never believe what just happened. 
What happened, Father? First, we were outside when the storm clouds appeared out of nowhere. Rain came pouring down suddenly, so we ran in here to seek shelter. That's when the text on the tablet unexpectedly began to glow. The characters actually came off and completely rearranged themselves. I know, it sounds crazy, but you just have to watch the beginning of this video. I mean, uh, but you will find that this text does not match what we previously recorded. Oh snap, earthquake, bro, California, what are we in San Francisco? Oh snap, H, seven, B, C. I don't know what characters those were, but they- What just happened, bro? Rocks just flew. I can't believe it. The tablet, it's actually gone. All that research just got up and flew away, bro, the tablet! This isn't good. We weren't able to finish transcribing the new text. The pieces of the stone tablet seem to have gone off in different directions. I think someone or something didn't want us reading that message. We're going to have to search for all the pieces so that we can continue the study of the stone. This storyline is so cool. That's odd. The rain seems to have stopped. Russo, I'm going to the Lumia Laboratory to update your mother on all of this. You should meet us there when you get a chance. See you later. All right, so I guess we're gonna go get our first Lumia now? I'm not sure if we get to actually choose a starter. I hope that there's like battles and stuff in this demo, but there might not be, who knows? Uh, can we go this way? No, we can't. Okay, so let's just go to the laboratory. This is it, baby. I'll see you guys at the lab. Let me know how you're liking this game so far and what it looks like. I think it looks freaking phenomenal and it's gonna be one of the best Roblox games out there for sure. Also, I'm assuming, oh, everyone's out of their house now. They must have heard the earthquake. So I'm assuming that the NPC that's gonna tell me about the uh, release date is probably gonna be at the end of this. It's probably gonna be like the professor or something. I'm not really sure, but I'm still talking to everybody just to make sure. And dude, the Arthro is so cool. They look amazing. One of these days I'm gonna get my own Lumion from the lab. I just don't know if I'm ready yet. A friend told me that I shouldn't be worried though. She said that Lumians are good, dependable creatures that make good companions. I'm so excited to get my own Lumian. Let's do it. Here we are in the lab. Hey Russo, I'm glad to see that you made it back safely, sweetie. Hey champ, good timing. I was just catching up your mother on what happened at the dig site. So for months you've been studying that mysterious stone and it just starts acting weird the same time that mysterious storm appeared over the town. Very fishy. That can't be a coincidence. I believe you are right. Soon after the text changed on the stone, it was broken and the pieces were scattered in the wind. I didn't even get enough time to transcribe the new message on the tablet before the pieces disappeared. You told me that you had deciphered the original text weeks ago. What did the original message, message say again? It roughly translated to, the creature's secret lies dormant within until the day of awakening. Bro, what? If only I could get the pieces of the tablet back, I could decipher its new message. Hopefully whatever it said would give us some clue. Did you happen to see where they went? No, they flew in every direction. There is no telling where they could have gone. Didn't you tell me that the tablet an emanated, 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 what word is that? A subtle but unique energy signature. Yes, it interfered with our equipment while we were digging nearby. That is what led us in the first place. What if you fine tune that technology to, to, to detect the missing pieces of the tablet? Hmm, yes, yes, that just might work. If I had access to a satellite array, I could emit a signal strong and wide enough to detect the pieces. But who do I know that has a facility equipped with a satellite array? Bro, there's one outside, you doofus. You wanna use my equipment? Is that okay with you, dear? Of course, I'm interested to see if this is tied to a Lumion I've yet to document. Excellent, thank you. I do wonder though, how will you be able to operate your machine here while searching for the missing pieces at the same time? That is a good question. I'll do it. <laughs> Don't look at me. My field research days are coming to a close. I'm getting too old to go on adventures looking for spooky things. Maybe if I was still in my prime. Haha, <laughs> no worries, Derek. I actually had someone else in mind. Sweetheart, how do you feel about letting Russo go in my place to search for the stones? So I'm gonna be searching for the stones from the tablet that flew around after that mysterious storm. So that's pretty much the storyline. And uh, we're going on an adventure with Lumians. I would love nothing more to see that our child on an adventure, Lumians by their side experiencing what I did when I was young. Ah yes, the life of a young Lumian trader. What do you think, Russo? Will you help me out? Yes! Oh my gosh, I'm getting a Lumian. That is the biggest grin I've ever seen. <laughs> it's in real life too, bro. They can see my actual face. I'd say Russo has been wanting something like this for quite some time. I'm certainly not surprised one bit considering how much Russo watches battle theater shows on TV. That's perfect, champ. Maybe one day you'll be on TV when you challenge a battle theater channel yourself. Well then, it's settled. I need to get set up here. Sweetheart, why don't we give Russo a Lumion and then practice with a quick battle? We're gonna do a battle. It is time. So we get to choose a Lumion right here, guys. Don't judge me on who I choose. I don't even know who I wanna choose. I'm just gonna go for somebody in the demo and uh, I might pick something else in the actual game, but here is the moment you've been waiting for. We're about to pick our first Lumion and then we're gonna battle. Oh my gosh. Bro, look at these Lumions. Oh, this is sick. Oh my gosh. <laughs> 
Feevine, bro, Feevine's always on the on the side. Come on, get in here. So that's the, oh my gosh, this is the starter menu. This is one of the coolest starter choosing options I've ever seen. So we got, let's go over them real quick. We got Feevine or Fevine. I don't know how to say that, Feevine. This is a plant type, which is pr probably the same as grass. Um, we got Vambat, which is the dark type. Weevil, the electric type, looks super cool. Dripple, which is, it looks like my favorite. It looks like a blue Charmander almost, and I love it. We got ourselves Eaglet, which is a light type. Embit, which is a fire type, which is probably gonna be the favorite. And then we got Snow Cub. I think this Weevolt has one of like the coolest final evolutions, and electric starters are freaking awesome but I kind of want Dripple too. I feel like I have to go with Dripple just because it's blue and it fits my theme. <laughs> but I don't know who I'm gonna pick in the actual game. So let me know who you guys would pick, but I'm gonna go ahead and pick Dripple for now. Let's get him. Would you like to nickname? I'm gonna say no for now just to get right into the battle. <gasps> There's my Dripple. Oh my gosh. Lumians are companions. In a battle, you and your Lumian work together and strategize together to defeat your opponents. You'll come across other wild Lumians and trainers who want to battle you. Dude, this is so sick. I. I expected this game to be great because I know the dev team and I know they all work hard and they're great at what they do, but this is like better than what I even could have imagined. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Kapunga. Oh my gosh, bro. This is sick. This is so sick. You'll notice on your Lumi watch that your Lumian's health points are displayed in green and it's energy in purple. When your Lumion runs out of health points, it'll be unable to battle and you'll need to use another Lumion if you have any. You'll notice you have four options, fight items, Lumions, and run. Go ahead and select your fight option. Bro, this is so sick. Now, if you look at your Lumion's moves, you'll notice a number next to EC. Okay, EC. This is the move's energy cost. Each time you use a move, your Lumion's energy will be reduced by the energy cost of the move. Once you run low on energy, you will need to wait or rest. Waiting will replenish a small amount of energy. Resting will replenish more of... Oh, so that's pretty unique. That's actually pretty cool. If you try to use a move without having enough energy, your Lumion will flail in exhaustion and lose health points. Now, without further ado, let's begin the fight. Bro, this is the moment we've been waiting for. We're about to play Lumion Legacy. All right, so let's go with... Uh, should we go with Spray? I'm gonna go with Spray. The opponent's Kapunga used Spray. That Pokemon is sick. Lumion, sorry. <laughs> All right, so we use spray. It's not very effective, so we're probably gonna use strike the next time. So look, it used energy cost. So the, the combat is a little bit different than Pokemon. Um, so he used brace. So notice how his defense rose and his energy cost went down, or his total energy went down. Um, so you have to try and eliminate the opponent without using all your energy. And if you use all your energy, then you need to wait a turn for it to go back up. So my energy's at 38. I could use one more strike. I could actually use two more strikes, so I should be good. Oh, this is sick. There we go. I used Strike, and I took out the Kapunga. Dripple gained 76 experience, and I'm level six. I love the noises. Good job, honey. Oh my gosh, and I got 200 Lumi coins for uh, winning the battle. That was an excellent battle. I think you and your Lumi will do fine as you go on your adventure together. I've got my gear set up. Come have a look. So they're gonna tell us the release date very, very soon. I don't know when. This machine will take the signals received from the stone chunks and display on screen location of where they are. Ah, would you look at that? It's already detecting a signal from Gale Forest. That isn't far from here. It's just past Cheshma Town. Well then, Cheshma Town is one town over for us. It's just on the other side of Route 1. You should have no trouble getting there. Russo, I need you to travel to Gale Forest and see if you can get there. Find the missing piece of the tablet, then report back. Your mother and I will communicate with you over Lumi Watch. Your Lumi Watch is a powerful piece of technology that's capable of doing many things. If you find anything, Give us a call and we'll decide what to do from there. That sounds excellent. Oh, and take this. I got a closet key. Okay, this is a key to the door at the back of the lab. Behind the door, you'll find a closet containing a few items I think you'll find very useful. If you're interested in bringing any more Lumians, you can come talk to me. All right now, Russo, I think you are all set up to go. Your father and I are here for when you need us. Good luck, Russo, let us know if you need anything. Okay, wait, that guy said if I want any other lab Lumians. Let's talk to him and see what he says. Are you interested in purchasing? Oh my gosh, you can purchase more. If I wanted to get another one, I could. I'm not gonna do it, cause I, cause it's the demo, but you could actually purchase another one. My favorite thing about this game is that the Lumians follow you, dude. So now I can go through here. Am I gonna find the release date? <laughs> I love how you kick it, bro. Five small meds, so those are gonna be potions. And then I kick this. Five capture discs. 
So capture discs are basically gonna replace Pokeballs. Um, I guess nothing else is in here. Dude, I love that. When you find something, you kick it over. So what is the release date, man? What is the release date? What's over here? Oh, this is a PC. We got PCs and everything, bro. How are you and your Lumion doing? The more battles you have, the stronger they will become. If you ever encounter an opponent that's too strong, blah, 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 blah. Hey, champ. Blah, 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 blah. All right, so I still don't know. Oh, there's a Lumapedia, which is just like the Pokedex. And then there's also my Lumion. So this is my Lumions right here. This is the Lumapedia, dude. Oh my gosh. And then the map, which again, I can't see yet. And uh, we'll close that for now. All right, so now all we need to do is figure out the release date. So we need to talk to everybody here. All right, so this NPC on the bridge is gonna tell me the release date of this game. So this is the demo right now. And this is when the game's actually gonna come out apparently. Mister, when is it? Thank you for playing the demo. Lumi Legacy releases July 20th, bro, that's in seven days. Aww. I wanted to have Ariel and the other babies, like Bella, <laughs> react to the release date, but apparently they're sad that it's not coming out tomorrow, so. Well, I am freaking pumped about that, so that's when it comes out, guys. July 20th, that's literally in seven days. I don't know how far they're gonna be into the game. They probably are gonna do like what they do with Brick Bronze and release it like gym by gym and kind of do updates, which is honestly more fun because we can make videos on the updates, but there you have it. The official release date is in a week. I am so freaking excited. Let me know if you guys are too in the comment section below. What starter are you gonna choose? How does this game look, etc. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Take it easy and goodbye. Say bye, Bella. Say bye. <laughs> She's shy. Bye.